going on everyone? I got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing Bumblebee. This film is directed by Travis Knight and it's sort of a small reboot, soft reboot in fact, to the Transformers universe that Michael Bay has created. Full disclosure, I'm not a really big fan of the Michael Bay Transformers. I'm a big fan of like the old animated Transformers series. I love Bumblebee. I love Optimus Prime. And I love seeing all those characters in the world of Cybertron itself. But those Michael Bay films never really did it for me. The first one's pretty fine. The second one's... Ugh. The third one's good, I guess. And the fourth and fifth one we don't speak about. But Bumblebee, when it was announced, that was a little bit... Why? Why are we continuing this? Then I hear that Travis Knight is going to be directing it. This guy did Kubo and the Two Strings. I love Kubo and the Two Strings. I got a little bit more hopeful. Haley Seinfeld signs on. You kind of got me on board now. And ever since the first trailer, I've been really anticipating Bumblebee. It doesn't just feel like they're going back to those old school roots of the Transformers. And even though they do, it's awesome. The great thing that it felt within those trailers is that it had a mix of not just 80s nostalgia movies, but it also felt like Iron Giant and E.T. mixed into a Transformers film. And let me tell you, it is those two things. And you can definitely tell that Travis Knight does take inspiration from other films like E.T. or Iron Giant, and maybe even some other 80s films, especially by the ending scene, actually mixes totally well within the Transformers universe. Travis Knight didn't just make a great film, he in fact made the best Transformers film to date. Now, of course, this isn't like really saying much per se because of all the other films that we have gotten in the past, but this film does feel totally different within the tone and style that the story is being told. Now, Bumblebee is a small story, it's taking place in 1987 with Haley Steinfeld being our main human protagonist. She's kind of down on her luck. Her father passed away a couple of years before and she's just really feeling like an outsider to her whole world. But then Bumblebee happens to bring into her life and it kind of reignites and restarts her life for a new journey. And their dynamics together. First off, Haley Steinfeld is absolutely fantastic in this film. She is so good and she's such a great protagonist within the story because she's not that annoying human character that you're like, oh, get back more to the Transformers. No, at times I was like, get back to her and B's relationship because that is the central focus in this film and the fact that Travis Knight really doubled down and centered on that, not within the government facilities and all the other Transformers. No, he really doubled down on that relationship and it not just made me care so much about Haley Steinfeld's character, but it made me care about B's character as well. Bumblebee is a very full realized character within here and their dynamics are really kind of a parallel of the Iron Giant and some of the stuff from E.T. but not feeling like a ripoff of those but feeling like its own thing and just taking certain parallels from them and certain nods to it. And this film gave me this big giddy smile I, I remember having when watching the original Transformers cartoons and even remembering when the first time I had seen Iron Giant for the first time and Looking at this film, I think kids who are at, were at my age when I first saw Iron Giant, when they see Bumblebee for the first time, and this may be their first introduction to kind of one of these alien human interaction stories where they're friends and they have to fight together against the government or maybe other aliens, I think they're going to have a big smile on their face too, and maybe they'll remind themselves and when they go back and see Iron Giant later down the road, they're going to be like, oh, that's kind of like Bumblebee, and... It, it, the fact that kids are going to be able to have that with this film makes me so happy and that this will be one of their first introductions to the Transformers because it is a beautiful introduction. And the opening scene alone, if you are a Transformers fanatic, you are going to be blown away from not just the CGI throughout the whole entire film, but the whole opening scene setting up Cybertron and everything that's going back on that planet is absolutely stunning. And this is something else Travis Knight does so well. Again, he's really good at hurting those personal connections between certain characters together so well even the most unlikely characters too we saw that in kubo and the two strings and we definitely see it in here a lot of people forget that kubo and two strings had excellent action in it bumblebee carries that action full force within it it has some awesome action set pieces that don't feel like it's getting so shoved into your face and getting way too up close no it's backed up enough to where you actually can tell what's going on and you can actually tell the difference between the transformers when they are fighting that is a big thing because the film in a sense i feel like michael bay's versions went a little bit too realistic this one they go enough cartoony but realistic to the point where you can believe that this thing is real right in front of you and the way that it transforms you see all the pieces moving in a certain positions and when it's going to car to guns it looks excellent 
and that really is to Travis Knight's imaginative and creative eye. You can totally tell he had so much passion behind the Transformer series and within this film itself. For cons, I will be honest, I felt like the family dynamic of Haley Steinfeld's character was a little bit cheesy, and the mother character, while it wasn't the performance, in fact, it was more of just the writing that didn't totally work out for me. I feel like a couple rewrites could have helped that character, and John Cena itself, he wasn't even in the movie. I don't even know where he was at. Joking aside, John Cena was actually pretty decent in here as well. It was really just that family dynamic that I think we could have furthered and maybe touched upon a little bit better. Before I start getting into my final thoughts on Bumblebee, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, guys, if you guys are new here and you guys enjoyed this review. And plus, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below. If you guys want to check out some movies early, like Aquaman, we're doing free tickets for that, so you guys definitely want to see if there's a free showing near you. And plus, we do movie reviews and movie news over there. But Bumblebee, it's a great delight. It brought a huge smile onto my face the whole entire time I was watching this movie. And I just, again, I didn't stop smiling from the opening scene to the ending scene. Again, the ending scene can be a little bit cheesy, but I still enjoyed Bumblebee for what it is. It's a great Transformers film, but also a great film. Travis Knight has his director stamped right onto this with those character interactions that we do get within Haley Steinfeld and Bumblebee's character. And the matter of fact, the way that you see them interacting, it's great. I want another film with them. I want another film with Bumblebee and the, just everything it sets them in here. It's such a great soft reboot for this franchise. And I really hope they continue this within it. So with all that said, I'm going to give Bumblebee a B plus. And guys, thank you guys so much for watching this. It means the world to me. So let's talk about it down below. What are your thoughts on Bumblebee? Do you guys get to check it out early? Did you not? Let's talk about it. What is your favorite Transformers film to date? Personally, I've already spoiled it. Bumblebee is my favorite. Let's talk about it again down below, guys. And thank you, of course. Again, hit that like and subscribe button. Then go check out Sandwich Home Films also down below to get into those advanced movie screens. But guys, of course, until next time, stay classy. <laughs>